let me as clearly as possible articulate my opinion on season eight season eight is one of the best updates that this game has ever received period it is it's incredible diving beneath the waves is a blast rising up to meet your opponent is a blast invading opponents is a blast but there are some things that i would like to see changed and here's why i think that the average player in sea of thieves is going to give up on this season because of all of the pain that they get when they lose i think we have made it too punishing to players who sink and instead what we should be doing is making it fun for them to engage back in to the pvp on demand that's my opinion now there's a lot that goes with that right so number one invasions being a defender kind of sucks kind of sucks not that great in fact the reason it's not that great is because you have all of the risk and no reward some people are like well you get a lot of allegiance for defending no you don't it's not worth it okay you put like maybe what hour two hours into getting your loot and then some sweat lord comes in and just sweeps you because skill-based matchmaking quite isn't there yet and so they just get all of this loot for for nothing and you get what maybe a little extra bonus allegiance no i say being a defender needs to be buffed i think it needs to be buffed i'm not exactly sure how it could be buffed but to me, I think the people who are doing the PvE are PvE lords, and they're after one thing, treasure. They want gold. And what I would say is if you are a faction champion and you are level five flag emissary, that if you're a faction champion, you get 2.5 times multiplier on the treasure that you have sold. And then in addition to that, if you are a grade five Emmy flag, then you also get 2.5 on that with a potential chance of getting five times the loot value of the treasure on your boat. I think that would be a great change because it would do two things. Number one, it would encourage more people to defend. It's great. We need more people defending. Invading in the same three spots in the world is not fun, but invading people throughout the seas is kind of awesome. It's kind of incredible. And we need it. We do. I we do. We need more we need more people defending. But we need to make it worthwhile to them to defend. So that would be my take. And then the second thing that that does is it helps the queue times. Okay. We, <laughs> the queue time is the great enemy that we all are united on. Urgh, we're united there to defeat the queue lord. Both servants and guardians of Fortuna unite to defeat the Q. The second thing I think we need to make it more friendly towards casual players. Now there's tons of thought on that, but that is my general statement. We need to make zero to 100 more friendly to your casual player. The grind simply is too difficult and not rewarding enough for your average player who gets six hours to 10 hours a week to play. I don't care how we do it. We can do daily deeds. We could do weekly deeds. I don't care. But I do think that it is fair to say that your average player who maybe will be his, his mid PVP will win 50% of their fights might get one of the curses. Maybe. But I would venture to say the majority of them are going to give up the same way that people gave up in the arena. Now, I don't care how they do it. Just think it needs to be a little easier or more rewarding for players to keep going. It's just too difficult. Seriously, that's my opinion. Now, there's a couple ways you could go about that. You could, like I said, daily deeds, weekly deeds. Don't care. That'd be, that could be fun. Make the 0 to 100, you know, a different amount of reps so it doesn't take as long. Um, I mean, as we talk about it right now, like solo slooping, solo slooping takes 30 minutes most of the times of fights. It's like you joust, you hit each other, and then you repair the boat, and then you go and joust again, and then you repair the boat. And one of the most valid strategies in solo play is to board the other ship and to run them into the no-no zone. But then the person that you run into the no-no zone doesn't get any rep for that. 
So not only did you win, but you're hurting your fellow solo man by putting salt in the wound. Because now he doesn't get anything for his loss. It sucks. Needs to be fixed. Something needs to change. Now for all you hardcore people that like to grind like crazy and you're just in it. And you're like, Hippo, it's okay that it's hard. It's not. You're not thinking clearly, sir. Because if we cannot fan the flame, if we cannot fan the flame of the new PVEer that wants to become a PVPer, it's like a delicate flame we need to keep safe. But all we're doing is we're having sweaty double gunners and AL now players come in and stomp them. Just imagine little Timmy coming in saying, hey, I want to try out this new hourglass thing. This sounds cool. I watched the trailer. It looks awesome. I want to dive beneath the waves and become a faction champion. You know what happens? He loads in, rises beneath the waves. Or he goes beneath the waves and then he rises from beneath the waves. And then on the other side is, quote, TDM says I. Little Timmy just met his first TDMer. The TDMs, very good at the game. They shoot out of the cannon in midair. Double shot. Poor little Timmy. And then Timmy crashes into a keg. And little Timmy sinks. And little Timmy says, well, that sucked. I'm not doing that again. And then, then we lost the little flame. The little flame that was little Timmy. He was precious. He was so innocent. And you just... You smashed him! You just crushed little Timmy and his hopes and dreams! We need this mode to live on forever! We got to make it a little more rewarding for the little Timmies! Okay? Third point. Losing sucks! We need to solve it! Resupplying sucks! We need to solve it. Now, I propose that we do it in this way. Upon sinking, you are given two choices. Number one, continue the fight. This throws you instantly back into the queue with free captained supplies. You only get it if you sink. That's it. You only get it if you sink in an hourglass fight and lose. You get the option to requeue instantly with free captain supplies. The second option says return to the outpost. You're basically leaving the fight and that's it. That would instantly help the queue time. That would make it so losing doesn't suck so bad and people would keep going. It'd be incredible. It'd be a really great change. All of this is my opinion, and I am sorry, little Timmy, that you got crushed by the TDMer says I. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It is. I promise. My name is Hippo TC. I'm the cursed captain of the Sea of Thieves. If you're looking for a good community, join Discord. Join my Discord. Discord.gg forward slash Hippo TC. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have pickup nights. We get you in a group with other players trying to win. That's all I got. That's my opinion of Season 8. Incredible update. The best update to the game we've ever seen. I love everything that the devs have done. Just needs a little tweak. Or oh, that little, little Timmy flame. He's going to die. And we need to protect the little Timmies. Because if we don't, the TDMers will surely spawn camp them. And I don't want to see that. Do you?